We'll close our eyes to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll bless your holy name. We we'll exalt your name because we know that signs and wonders will take place. Great supernatural miracles we are going to give to everyone in Jesus' name. You open the windows of heaven and you shower your blessings upon all your children in Jesus' name. And I pray that none, no boy, no girl, will miss your blessing in the name of Jesus. Confirm your word as we preach this word. Let every promise be yes and amen. Every prophecy yes and amen. Every blessing yes and amen. Upon every one of us in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit and give me a round, say amen. amen. Thank you very much. We're looking at Luke chapter 15. In Luke chapter 15, I'm going to read some selected verses here. I'm going to look at verse 18. Luke chapter 15, verse 18. I will arise and go unto my father. I will arise. I will. Here is a young man that made up his mind and he said, I will. No matter what others do, no matter what others think about my action, no matter what others may not want to do, as for me, I'm making up my mind at this time, I will arise. Look at verse 20. And he arose and came to his father. He had said, I will. And then he made good his promise. He promised himself. He said, I'm going to arise and I'm going to get back to my father. Everything I've lost, I am going to regain. Everything you have lost, you are going to regain in Jesus' name. And he arose and he went. And he arose and he went. That is the secret of restoration. The secret of revelation. The secret of redemption. If you're going to have total restoration in your life, there must be a willingness to do what you have said you're going to do. You see, there are a lot of people that come to a meeting like this that were expecting wonders and signs and miracles to come upon us. But instead of coming to the place where the hand of God will touch them, and the power of God will touch them, they roam about here and there, I believe that you are settled down. And you want to get something tonight, and you are going to get it in Jesus' name. And then we're told in verse 22, Unto his servants, bring forth the best robe. Bring forth the best. Underline that word best in your Bible, because that's what is coming your way tonight. He said, I will arise. I want you to see the journey of this young man. He made up his mind, I will arise. And then he arose. And he came to the father. And then the father saw him. And the father said, bring forth the best. Everybody say the best. Yes. That best is coming upon your life in Jesus' name. Yes. Look at verse 24 now. For this my son was dead. And he's alive again. He was dead, but he was alive again. He lost something. But everything he lost, he regained. Everything you have lost, you are going to regain in Jesus' name. Because he came back home. He came back to the Father. He came back to mercy. He came back to love. He came back to fellowship. He came back to grace. He came back to provision. He came back to power. And because he came back to the right place, that's why he had what he had. When you make up your mind that I know the right place to be, I know the right relationship to be with the Father, with the God of heaven, and I'm going to maintain that relationship, something good will come your way in Jesus' name. That's why I said, this my son ownership he said it's my son i welcome him to the family i welcome every one of you in jesus name all those who have gone far away we're coming back home all those who have gone away from the lord we're coming back home all those who have tossed their salvation away and they're backsliding and they say now we're in the world you are coming back home in jesus name and then the heavenly father will be able to say this my son let's look at verse 31 in verse 31 it says and he said unto him son thou art ever with me and all that i have 
is thine. Think about everything that God has. And it says, all that I have is thine. That's the end of the journey. When you make your reconciliation with God, when you come back to God and you are fully restored unto the Lord, then God will tell you finally, everything God has belongs to you in Jesus' name. I'm talking about the wonder of your glorious restoration. The wonder of your glorious restoration. The wonder of your glorious restoration. You see, I make it very personal because I'm talking about you. I said I'm talking about you. That's why I say this is your restoration. The wonder of your glorious restoration. As I look at the story, the story of this young man, just like you, just like your brother, just like your sister, he went away from the father. He went away from God. But eventually when he came into ruin, into destruction, into poverty, into a famine, he said, I'm going to go back to the Lord. That means he wanted restoration, number one, of his salvation. Restoration of salvation. Number two, restoration of healing and health. There are those who are healthy before, but now they've lost that health. And the Lord is saying, if you have lost your health, that health is coming back in Jesus' name. The moment we begin to pray and I say the hand of the Lord should touch you and we pray in the name of Jesus that sickness will vanish away in Jesus name number three the restoration of freedom you see there are people who go into a far country and they become enslaved by the going to that far country and when you come back to the Lord the slavery will be taken away and then there will be freedom total deliverance for you in Jesus name the restoration of your brightness Maybe you are bright before and you could solve this problem, solve that problem, but not because of the way of life and the way you have gone. It's like the brightness is gone. We are going to have that thing coming back. Yeah. You'll be bright in Jesus' name. And then the restoration of your strength. If you are now weak, after this session, the strength of the Lord will come in your life. And that power and strength and vigor and vitality will come back in Jesus' name. And the restoration of success. If failure is there, we're going to knock that failure out. Take that failure away. And restoration of success will come in Jesus' name. And the restoration of victory. No more defeat in my life. I said no more defeat in my life. I will be victorious and victorious already in Jesus name because when you come back to the Lord the word of God says greater you see that is in you than he that is in the world and then in all these things we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ that loved us and the restoration of righteousness a lot of restoration restoration to salvation restoration of healing and health restoration of power dominion restoration of purity restoration of fellowship to the lord and freedom with the lord and restoration of deliverance restoration of brightness of health of strength of vigor of vitality of success of victory and of righteousness as i look at the story what did i say is the title of the message tell me out loud they wonder of my restoration say that way the wonder of your restoration, you'll be restored in Jesus' name. I divide the message today, pass number one, the painful ruin of a corrupted youth. The painful ruin, R-U-I-N, ruin. The painful ruin of a corrupted youth. Number two, the purposeful return of a converted youth. The purposeful return. Of a converted youth. So he read part of the story to you when he said, I will return home. I will go back to my father. I will arise and go and go to my father. He returned, purpose for return of a converted youth. Number three, the permanent riches. You are rich. Amen. I said, You are prospered. Amen. You are victorious and successful in Jesus' name. Amen. The permanent riches of a committed use the permanent riches of 
he committed you. So we're coming to number one, and I'm reading now from the Bible in Luke chapter 15. We're looking at it from verse 11. Luke chapter 15, reading from verse 11. And he said, A certain man had two sons. Actually, this is a parable that Jesus Christ told. He was telling the parable so that people would know that God is a father. And God as a father has created every one of us. But all of humanity is divided into two. One on this side, the other on that side. One part has gone away from the Lord. And one part remains with the Lord. That's why the Lord Jesus told this parable. And as you look at the picture of one child and the other child, you'll be able to see your own picture in one of the two. And it says, this certain man, referring to God in the parable, are two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of the goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. The younger son said, I don't want to stay here anymore. I'm fed up with all this. Stand up, sit down, go this way, don't go that way, don't join that, join this. I'm fed up with get up and do this. Control, commandment, a direction. Move this way, don't move that way. I'm fed up with that. I want to go away. Of course, the father must have pleaded with him. Don't do that, my son. It will not help you. The field may look green afar, but when you get there, it's another story. He said, no, I've made up my mind. I am leaving. And eventually, because he put pressure on the father, the father said, all right, have what you want. And he got what he wanted. Look at it now in verse 13. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted a substance with Rautos living. He wasted everything is God. When he says it, sometimes, you know, we're created with a lot of things. We have brain, we have mind, we have thinking faculty, we have reasoning, we have ability, we have skill. He wasted everything. We have the mind and we have the body, we have strength, we have power, we have all these skills and ability. He wasted everything. We have time, we have treasure, we have some money too. He wasted everything, everything that he had. And they were told in verse 14, and when he had spent all, when he had wasted all, when he had squandered all, we're told there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. That's a local famine right there. That's a local poverty right there. That's a local need right there. He now came to want, and then he went and joined himself to a certain citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. What a terrible condition he came to. That's why I'm talking about that point number one. The painful ruin of a corrupted youth. What came on this child? What came on this young fellow? How did he come to this kind of decision? I want to leave home. I want to be free. I want to get far away. I don't want any control of anybody. I don't want any direction from anyone. How did he get to that? He was corrupted. You see, there are many youths around you. Many young people in your community. And he'll say, this is what you do. That is what you do. And he'll be teaching you against the sin that the Heavenly Father wants in your life. And then if you listen to that, this is what happens to your life. Number one, he had self-centeredness. He never thought about the joy of the father, the joy of the mother, the fellowship at home, giving a helping hand to all the people, just me, just myself. Give me the portion that's all right for me. The one that belongs to me. I want to go out. I want to do as I please. Say what I want to say. Do what I want to do. Dress the way I can dress. And drink what I want to drink. Smoke what I want to smoke. I don't want any control from anybody. Number one in his life. Selfishness. Self-centeredness. And that is what ruins many people. Self-centeredness. Thinking about yourself alone. You're not thinking about the joy of other people, about the comfort of other people, about the happiness of other people. Just me, just me, just me. 
self-centeredness number two stubbornness how would you do that it's not right that will hurt me that will hurt your mother that will hurt your brother how do you want to leave? you're only two here how would you leave him and that's what i want to do don't let anybody talk to me anytime when i make up my mind to do anything that is what i will do even if what i want to do will destroy me leave me alone i want to do what i will do what did i call that tell me out loud stubbornness number three now separation separation he gathered everything is god and he went not in a nearby village a nearby town a nearby community he went far away into a far country they won't ever hear about me here they won't ever supervise me here they won't ever touch my life here they won't ever control my i'm going very far away separation you see there are people that separate themselves they separate themselves from god terrible they separate themselves from the bible no bible no singing nothing whatever separation they separate themselves from the family of the people of god nothing to do with anybody this is me i want to live my life i want to do as i please anytime anywhere i want night club i want to go there i want to see what the drinks look like you see that was the thing that ruined this young man i said in this young man's life number one was self-centered number two was number three separation now number four social sins social sins i could call it another name sexual sins i could call it another sexuality just the sins of the flesh just let go let's have all any drink there let's have it any kind of cigarette let's have it my region and the lead serve it had drugs that let's serve it social sins because that's what everybody is doing in the far country the people who are far away from god that's what they're doing the people who are far away from salvation that's what they're doing so let's go for it let's give it a try i'm going to do whatever it is they'll inject themselves they will you know do whatever it is they go to the nightclub they browse the internet anything pornography give it to me i want to just try everything he was corrupted already and he went from one level of corruption to another level of corruption social sins number what's the next thing number five suffering eventually he came to ruin suffering no food no money no substance everything he had when everything finished then all the people that were within when the times were good when money was flowing and when he could have a good time all those people forsook him he had spent everything on them and nobody was willing to spend anything on him so suffering came eventually i said what will i do now there's no good accommodation i cannot pay my rent and there's no good food to eat i cannot eat balanced diet there's no clothes to wear i cannot wear something decent what i'm going to do so he joined himself to a citizen of that land and that one said okay the only work i have is that you will feed the pigs after all you are as dirty as a pig yourself go and join them there i call that number six slavery slavery you now became enslaved the work of a servant, the work of a slave, that he will not do at home, he was not doing it in the far country. What a shame. And what kind of degradation and disgrace and dishonor, discomfort he brought himself to. But that is the way, the downward journey of the people that go away from their father, from God, from salvation, from the church, because of that downward trend. Number seven, shame and sorrow shame and sorrow he looked at himself in the mirror every morning he said look at what i came to even the hard servants of my father's house they can get more than this what is this what's happening to me here he said but i knew the way i came i would trace my way back home i'm going back home i cannot remain here and he didn't discuss this with anybody there because if he discussed it and they say wait on a little times will change until he died nothing will change so he said i will arise everybody say i will arise, I will arise. say that out loud you know i'm talking to you now if you have found in your life that things were better five years ago when you knew the lord 
a few years ago when you gave your heart to Jesus Christ a few years ago when you were really born again and your life was new if any man be in Christ is a new creature old things are tell me passed away and all things are tell me become new at that time it was new but look at your life today look at your life today and look at what you have gotten into since you got to secondary school and since you got to that uh, so whatever and look at all the companies that you're keeping up look at you cannot read the bible you cannot pray anymore the joy of salvation is gone and the joy of fellowship has gone and whenever you come it's just like okay we're going and you know that you are shallow you are dry all the good things you are before spiritually everything is gone you knew how to pray if you have any headache any tummy ache, any problem you just mention the name of jesus everything will vanish away if if you had a bad dream and you know anything was happening when you mentioned the name of Jesus immediately a mighty change will come but look at you today now all those things pressing you on the bed and then you cry you cannot cry out you try to get out of you cannot get out of it because look at your life look at the lies that came in look at all the dream even trying drinking now and look at all the mess you've gotten yourself into but praise the lord if you can make up your mind saying i will arise and go i will arise and go all these uh, sinful partners and all these uh, alcohol people and whatever i'm going to forsake them you will arise and something good will happen to you i said something good will happen to you the joy of salvation and the victory that comes the righteousness that comes to salvation will come in your life in jesus name now i'm going to pick up this boy now when he made up his mind and said i will arise and go and i'm looking at point number two the purposeful return of a converted youth it will happen to you i said it will happen to you the purposeful return return of a converted youth i'm reading now from verse 17 verse 17 says and when he came to himself he was beside himself before he was simply mad he had mental disturbance before he wasn't thinking straight and thinking well before but now he came to himself and said how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare and i perish with hunger i will arise and go to my father and will say unto him father i have sinned against heaven and before thee and i'm no more worthy to be called thy son no more pride everything that was humility and i'm no more worthy to be called thy son make me as one of thy hired servants and he arose and he came to his father that's a beautiful part of it and he rose and what did he do tell me out aloud he came to his father there is what we call intention intention is i will arise and go that's just intention many people say i will arise and go and they still sit down there i will arise and go they sit down there they're singing uh, the song standing on the promises of god but they only sing that but they're still sitting in the premises of their problem they're sitting down in the premises of their problems and they're singing i'm standing on the promise of and nothing ever happens it is when you take action and you join action with intention and say this is what i promise i'm going to do i'm going to rise up and do it and he arose and he came he came unto his father which verse are we now verse what verse 20 and he arose and came to his father but when he was yet a great way off his father saw him and he had compassion on him and he ran and he fell on his neck and kissed him and the son said unto him father i have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and i'm no more worthy to be called thy son but the father said to his servants bring for the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill and let us eat and be merry for this my son now the father said you are my son come back he came back fully you'll come back fully in jesus name he was dead but he's alive again he was lost and now is found and they began to be merry and let's look at the steps that brought this son back 
because we've seen the step that took him down from self-centeredness to stubbornness and to separation and to tell me social sins and to suffering and to slavery and to shame and sorrow now he was down below the very lowest line lowest level now it's coming up it's coming up how did he come up number one realization realization he realized he came to himself what am i doing here this is not my place I have a home somewhere. I have a father somewhere. I have enough to spare somewhere. And I'm here in this degradation and disgrace and dishonor. What am I doing here? Number one is realization. When you realize what you can find in Christ, your salvation. When you realize what you can find in Christ, even heaven. When you realize what's available for you, all the promises of God. The healing and the health and the dominion and the deliverance and the brightness and the success and the victory. Everything you can have in Christ. You say, what am I doing in this condition? Number one, realization. Number two, resolution. Resolution. That is, I will arise and go. Nothing will stop me. I'm going to get saved. I'm going to return to my father. I'm going to get back home again. All those good, good things that my father has, I know they belong to me. What am I doing here? Resolution. Make up your mind. You'll make up your mind. What are you? What are you? Making up your mind? Everybody, can I see your hand? Make up your mind. Resolution. You will have it in Jesus' name. Number three, recognition, recognition, recognition. He recognized what he could have been, where he could have been. He recognized the resources of the father. And he said, but that's mine. That's my father. All this sin available, even though I wasted what he gave me before, I recognize now where I could be. And when you think about how God loves you and what he wants to do for you and you recognize the promises of God for you, you can be the head, you will not be the tail. He will make everything you do, he'll make everything prosper in Jesus' name. He says whatsoever you lay your hand upon will succeed and that promise will be yours in Jesus' name recognize what you can be in christ what you can have in christ recognize all the good promises of god for you and then shed off and throw away and turn away from all the little little things disturbing your life number four is renunciation renunciation that's repentance renunciation means all the husks of the pigs i jettison i throw them away i reject them all the kind of a company i'm keeping that is not helping me and they're dragging me down 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 every time i reject them i forsake them all those night claws have been going and didn't it just uh, kind of sapped my energy and took away my brain and i've lost the habit of reading and preparing myself for the future i throw that away renunciation all those gangs and all those friends and all those occultic people i separate myself from them i say no to everything of satan no to everything of sin no to everything of the flesh when he said no like that that is renunciation he renounced them he renounced them you are going to do that in jesus name you see there are some people maybe your own is not pronounced here but little by little you are getting nearer and nearer the world nearer and nearer to the people of the flesh nearer and nearer to the people that are doing evil nearer and nearer to all those occultic people you're already singing their songs you're already using their language you're already looking at their dress you're already appreciating the way they are you say today i'm going to cut the cord i'm going to cut away from all of them renunciation renunciation you renounce them in jesus name it's coming back it's coming it's rise i will arise and go i will arise and go it's coming up now like you will come up today i said like you'll come up today it started with number one realization everybody say number one realization. number two tell me out loud a resolution number three tell me number four tell me and number five reformation 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 there is form 
there is reform there's reformation that is i want god to make me again make me a new recreate me reform me refine me and do something new in my life in my heart take the old sin away the old desires take all that away all the old bent and all the old leanings and attack me take everything away i want something of heaven something of holiness something of righteousness something of purity something beautiful something great something glorious something angelic something ever only do that in me reformation the lord will do it in your life in jesus name he gives you a new mind a new brain a new language a new thought a new thought pattern a new direction a new lifestyle everything becomes new when god touches your life there will be reformation in jesus name number six reconciliation reconciliation you know he had gone away from the father now he came back to the father he embraced the father the father embraced him the father kissed him the father had compassion on him there was a unity in between them now fellowship in between them love between them now compassion from the father to the child now, there was reconciliation you know i will not uh, do what they want i will not go their own way uh, they are old old people they don't know young people think i want to have a nice time the man doesn't know how to enjoy life and all that i'm different i want to do this and do this but he abandoned all that he reconciled with the father thinking alike going alike living together because of that reconciliation and now number seven resurrection everybody say resurrection because he said this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost but now he's found that is spiritual resurrection i pray that something will happen in your life today a resurrection that your dead brain will resurrect your dead mind will resurrect your classmates will come and they say what happened to you well, we were together you know we're in the failure bracket before but now you have gone like a shooting star where have you been you say well i'll take you there and then you bring them there when you bring them here something will touch their brain something will touch their mind their personality everything will change in their lives in jesus name because you will have success and then you transfer more success to other people in jesus name and then from that you have reconciliation you know i will not greet you you will not greet me I, you know i'm angry with you you're angry with me all that will go away there'll be reconciliation everywhere in jesus name and then resurrection i said resurrection i said resurrection it is coming in jesus name and now when he came when he came back home there was rejoicing everybody rejoiced and something good happened like it will happen to us in jesus name something permanent is coming your way riches permanent coming your way righteousness permanent is coming your way revelation permanent is coming your way point number three now is the permanent riches of a committed youth the permanent riches of a committed youth look at him from verse 25 now his elder son was in the field and as he came and drew near to the house he heard music and dancing and he called one of the servants and asked what these meant and then he was told and he said unto him thy brother is come and thy father has killed the fatted calf and because he has received him safe and sound and he was angry and he would not go in therefore came his father out and entreated him and he answering said to his father lo these many years do i serve thee neither transgressed i at any time thy commandment and yet thou never gavest me a key that i might make merry with my friends but as soon as this thy son was come which has devout wasted destroyed eating up thy living with harlots thou hast killed for him the fatted calf and he said this is where we are going and he said unto him son thou art ever with me you'll be with the lord Amen. you stay with the lord you abide in the house of the lord and all that i have is thine you are there every time you are committed to me you are committed to youth all that i have is thine all that god has is yours Amen. i said all that god has is yours Amen. 
and he has quite a lot and then in that final verse it now says it was all right it was suitable it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this thy brother was dead and is alive again he was lost but is tell me found what makes a person to have the resources of heaven the riches of heaven what makes a person to have something permanent that god says all that i have is yours on what basis did the father tell this older son all that i have is yours on what basis will the almighty god tell you everything i have is yours i have salvation is yours I have sanctification is yours. I have Holy Ghost power, baptism, it is yours. I have healing, it is yours. I have health, it is yours. I have knowledge, it is yours. I have wisdom, it is yours. I have money, it is yours. I have prosperity, it is yours. I have heaven, it is yours. All that I have is yours. If God can tell you that, how can God tell you that? Number one, activity activity. You see, this uh, older son said, I'm an active person, I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy. I've been with you. I'm coming from the field. And there is no day I'll say today I'm tired. I'm always doing something. I'm always on the go. Activity. If you will find out what God wants you to do. Like for example, your studies. You know that he wants you to study at this time. This is what class you are in. And he'll say, I'm going to make every day contribute to my progress in education. I'm going to make every day contribute to my forward move in education. Activity, activity. Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all thy might, with all thy understanding. Because there is no work or device in that other place where you'll be going eventually. Number one, activity. It was that activity that made the father to say everything i have is yours number two attitude you say my boy have the right attitude have the right attitude it was all right your younger brother went away is coming back have the right attitude don't have an angry disposition don't have a kind of misfit a disposition don't have a kind of negative attitude have a right attitude 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 is very very important you know attitude did i tell you before now if you put a b c to z and you put number on a number on b number on c number on d can i do that quickly i said can i do that quickly i can't hear you are tired yes. are you still there yes. okay when i say a okay right attitude to start with right attitude a t t that's the double t i t u D E pronounce that for me attitude when I say a you say one then you write one in front of that a are you ready a B tell me C D okay you put four in front of D E you put five in front of E if because there's an E there in that word attitude F G H I that's an I there put nine J K L M N O P Q R S T put twenty in front of all the T's there you put 21 in front there have we finished all the letters add all those numbers together what's that 100 and that's why the father was my son you have a bad attitude make up 100 in your attitude wear a smile be cheerful come on now go and greet your brother say welcome back home because if you have number one activity number two you have good attitude all that i have is yours what makes people to lose many things in their lives they have wrong attitude it's like they're angry when nobody has offended them 
It's like they want to offend other people when everybody loves them. Everybody will say, welcome, welcome, we love you, we appreciate you. And they have a wrong, wrong attitude. They are angry without any reason at all. Have a right attitude. The Lord is saying, everything I have belongs to who? Me. Belongs to who? It will be yours in Jesus' name. Number three, abstinence. 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 Abstinence means you abstain. You abstain. This is a young man. That is the elder son. He said, I don't, I've not made a fool of myself. This is my younger son went to the house, but I didn't do that. I abstained. I abstained. Abstinence. From all those uh, pollutants, all the pornography, you say, not for me. All the sexual things, not for me all the immoral things not for me all the fornication not for me all the adultery not for me all the stealing not for me abstinence and the father was saying i know you i know you just go to the, your active if you can really have right attitude and then you have abstinence all that i have is yours number four is acceptance acceptance that's what he said in verse 30 thou art ever with me you belong to me thou art ever with me when you belong to you abide in the lord and you remain with the lord acceptance all that i have there will be yours and then assurance assurance thou art ever with me i know you everything i have i've given to you and then number six is abundance abundance all that i have all that i have because my god is real and my God is not poor. Everything God has belongs to me, belongs to you in Jesus' name. And then number seven, affection. Affection. That is love. It was right. We shall welcome your younger brother because he's your brother. Let there be affection in the family. Number one, activity. Number two, attitude. Number three, abstinence. Number four, acceptance. Number five, assurance. Number six, abundance. Number seven, and I have it all. I said I have it all. I said I have it all. Why don't you rise up and tell the Lord the blessing is coming upon your life. Rise up. You have it all. You have it all. Abundance coming your way. Affection coming your way. Acceptance, assurance coming your way. Activity. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. If you are backsliding, you've gone away from the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord, I'm coming back home. All those bad friends, I forsake them. All those evil things, I forsake them. I will arise and go. I will arise and go. And go to my Father. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You to see that young man he made up his mind realization he made up his mind resolution he made up his mind renunciation he forsook all those bad things let me hear you pray let me hear you pray let me hear you pray let heaven hear you pray you tell the lord oh lord here am i today oh lord here am i today i come i come i'm coming back home I'm coming back home. All those bad things, reject them. Refuse them. Turn away from them. I say, Lord, I'm coming back home. Lord, I'm coming back home. Lord, I'm coming back home. Don't ruin your life. Don't destroy your life. Occultism will destroy your life. Bad companies will destroy your life. Bad friends will destroy your life. You tell the Lord, I'm back now. I'm back now. Lord, I repent. Alcohol will destroy your life. Lord, I repent. Fornication will destroy your life. Lord, I repent. Smoking will destroy your life. Lord, I repent. Tell the Lord. I say, Lord. I accept Jesus Christ now as my Savior. I open my heart and I say, Jesus coming. Jesus coming. You are my Savior coming to my heart. You are my Lord. Come control my life. I hand over my life unto you. I reject evil. I renounce evil. Come back, come back, come back. Destroy all those covenants with the evil people. With occultism, destroy them. And you have any materials with you? 
clothing material, paper material, substance from those occultic uh, gangs. Destroy them and say, I am through. No more any of those symbols in my life. And then everything God has will belong to you. And then make up your mind now you'll be a boy, you'll be a girl of activity. A boy, a girl with the right attitude. A boy, a girl with real abstinence. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Acceptance. You accept the Lord and he accepts you. Assurance. Whosoever comes unto me, I will in no wise cast away. Abundance. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all this shall be added unto you. Affection. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Return unto him. And promise him. I will love you now with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, all my strength. In Jesus' name we pray. And victorious youth, young people said, It's but a nice close. This is a solemn moment now, very serious moment. You have realized, like this young man we're ready about now, realization. And you're making up your mind resolution and you are going to abandon all the evil things that is ruining your life renunciation repentance you want to come back to the lord to say oh lord i'm going to be for you you are going to be for me jesus is going to be my savior reconciliation and lord you'll touch my life you will transform my life reformation and then everything that is dead in me will come alive resurrection if that's you i'm talking about you now coming back to the lord i want to see your hand up in the air because i want to pray for you be serious with it be serious with it that you're saying yes lord yes to the lord this time yes to the lord this time that means that all those bad friends bye bye all those evil things bye bye i'm waiting for you i'm waiting for make up your mind you are raising up your hand now you are saying lord here am i today i give myself back to jesus christ erase all those negative things out of my life i receive jesus as my personal savior right now right now i receive jesus as my personal savior thank you very much let me see your hand in the air let me just wave that hand at me like this if you are raising up the hand amen wonderful amen that is wonderful father in the name of jesus i thank you for all these sons that are up i'm praying oh lord forgive all their sins in jesus name renew their lives touch their lives transform them that they'll never be the same again in jesus name all those bad things they've done before forgive every one of them in jesus name touch their lives and make them totally new to renewed in the lord in jesus name perfect your work in them i thank you lord because i know it's done their sins are forgiven now they are saved they are born again confirm it oh lord in their hearts in jesus name we pray and everybody said now i am going to the top i said i am going to the top i am going to be the head watch me i succeed I said, keep on watching me. I'm going to succeed. Watch my life. There is victory in my life. Where's the boy I'm talking about? Where's the girl I'm talking about? Success and victory. Activity. Everybody say activity. activity. You know, you will not just sit down and fold your hand and be active, active, active. You'll be active in Jesus' name. Attitude. Everybody say attitude you know you don't go through life frowning at everybody fighting with everybody and you know leave me alone leave me alone with every that's bad attitude and then you are also going to find another thing here you are going to find abstinence any bad thing taking place they are fighting there you'll not find me there they are drinking there you'll not find me there i'm talking about you say it for yourself you'll not find me there and the lord will accept you and the Lord will assure you. 
and something else is coming in your life abundance i see surplus in your life i see sufficiency in your life i see all blessings in your life and affection everywhere you go there will be love in jesus name let the person i'm talking about shoot up the hand father in the name of jesus i pray for every boy and every girl here i pray that your blessing will come upon everyone in jesus name pick every boy up and leave them up pick every girl and leave them up i want to see everyone on top of a mountain in jesus name head and not the tail head and not the tail head and not the tail success and not failure victory and not defeat abundance and not farming plenty and not scarcity i pray that all the blessings of god will come upon every boy every girl here in jesus name healing and health no sickness in the life of every boy here i command sickness come out in jesus name in the body of every girl here i command sickness come out in jesus name there's no affliction anymore no enemy anymore no curse anymore no yoke anymore i pray that the victory of the cross will come to your life in jesus name turn to the right there is joy turn to the left there is joy move forward there is joy go anywhere there is joy angelic protection will be around your life in jesus name and lord i pray the next time i see all these your children there'll be joy and happiness there'll be testimony and sharing together in jesus name i release you into the blessing of god i release you into the abundance of the lord and the love of god will surround you all the days of your life in jesus name lord confirm it in every life we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray and everybody said and everybody said and everybody said